<laughs> Bill walked in this morning, Robert, 6 a.m., talking about situational hitting. 6 a.m. <laughs> Base running, all of it. You were teaching early this morning. Some time for some teaching moments. What do you guys have? Let's we, do it, Rob. We got a few things. Okay. And, yeah. and, and what we try to do is point out different things that happen in the game. And I think these things can happen kind of nightly. Yes. And we're just trying to maybe set some kids straight, some thought processes as we move on. This one jumps out at me first. This was last week. And we look at this game between the Pirates and the Cubbies. We got a man on third. And I know we agree on this, Dero, about positioning and things like that. Man on third, ground ball to second. We're coming home, and he's safe. So what I want to do is I want to put a pause in here somewhere. It's when he kept freeze. All right. So if you're playing in the first inning to cut off said run at home plate, then you and we get a ground ball, we can't allow a ground ball catch, execute a pretty decent throw. I think the only reason the throw's offline a bit is because he sees it. that. Yeah. Reynolds is on third. He can run a little bit. Play it forward, please. If you're halfway defensively, we both played middle infield. I, I, I'm sure, pause it. Freeze. If you're halfway, you're no way. Right. You feel like you're in no man's land. My, in my analogy in the tennis world, there is either the serve and volley guy or the serve and we're going to stay back guy. Yeah. If you get caught halfway in, halfway is a definition you're not there, you lose the point. you're not there, yeah. you're done. And when you look at this situation, I'm even questioning in today's game with their thought process on this, because even though he's close to the grass playing shortstop, he's still an awful long way from home plate. If we were going to play the distance between there and there, and then, and then there yeah. and there, I don't know even if he's going to handle this either. So the idea and where we position, but we got Hendricks on the bump. Hendricks is very good at making a pitch. Soft contact. Ding. So if we're going to have that, you need to be playing up on the grass. Play and that forward. Play it. And I, I used to love, Tony La Russa with St. Louis used to start us in that position and then crash to a four defensively. And I always thought it made the hitter a little Right. If little you're going to cut the run off, Cut it off. Cut the run off. Yes. Don't get caught in between. This one's our next beauty right here. And there's there's something to unwrap right here. Dodgers, Red Sox. Verdugo, first and second. Mookie Betts, one of the best outfielders in the game. One of the best players in the game, period. Mm -hmm. You see this happen. Okay, freeze it for a minute just so I can go back to that. You know I'm big on that, D-Row. The score bug tells you what's going on. Yep. Now, the situation was two outs. It's not automatic. He, said. he sends a guy from Especially second. Especially Casas. He's not fleet of foot. Devers is on deck. Okay, play it forward, please. And we're going to get to the uh, high home, but we really want to check out Freddie Freeman right here. Watch Freddie running in. Watch him look. He knows what's happening. <laughs> he knows I got somebody. I'm just cutting the ball off, and I turn around, I go, good. And by the way, both executed the rundown perfectly. Play it forward. Go ahead. Kind of stop it when you think Mookie's going to get it. Bing. Mm. You can't send him. He's dead. This is perfect. He gets deep enough as the coach to be able to say, I want to develop it. I want to see what's happening. There's no way in the world it's not even look. You can just it's keep going. running in that situation. Even if he sends them, I don't want that to happen because Rafael Devers is on deck. Yep. We're so much in the information game about what's going on with the specifics. The information was six to four. Rafael Devers is coming up. It's a two hop rocket. To Mookie Betts, and loaded, you're a dead duck. To win the game. Ding. Play it. Mm. You just can't. You just. You, you, it you, can't happen. You just can't do it. I got sent to Richmond for that. <laughs> I'm not kidding. All right, this next one's a beauty because you love this. You call I it indefensible. Think, listen, we all hate bunting. If we're on a live, I saw this. Test. I saw this. Play. We all hate it. But when I came to the big leagues. I had to get bunts down. That was one of the job requirements for me. And I think it's not taught, especially at the youth level, and especially not in the big leagues. I want to show you an indefensible play in the big leagues that if you get first and third, pause this. First and third, one out, 
All you have to do is get the bunt down, and there's no way to defend it. Can we hold on one second? Because when you talk about the fundamentals, when things go wrong is when the barrel gets below the hands. He does it. Great. If the barrel stays above the hand, we are going to promote this. If it's first and third, and the bunt gets down towards the first base side because the guy's got to hold the runner on first, yeah. the guy on third can walk. Walk home. Home. And think about it. Think about it. It's 7-5. One more run, 8-5. You put them on the defensive. Colin McHugh is not blowing heaters by you. He is not going to be a tough guy to bunt. Spins easier to bunt than that four-seam elevated heater. Watch right. this. Bang. Oh, and I'm going to grab a knock out of it. A knock. And that's just the bonus on top. Good One night. thing I'd like to point out is freeze it. Go back a little bit here, Lucas, to watch this little bunny hop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. When he does this little bunny hop, it's getting his bat closer to fair territory, which I think is a key because if the bat's out in front of home plate, we need to get this thing yeah. down. When you watch this develop, as soon as Jock Peterson reads this, where it's going, and we said he can walk home, he pretty much can he right here. He Go ahead and play that. That's a beautiful Look thing right there. Watch him. It's down. All right. He's got gone. It. Look at him. Slow it up. So when you take BP as a 12-year-old, 13-year-old, and I say get two bunts down, and you give me dang back it, <laughs> dang back it, I, I want, I want to, I want to ground you. Get it, you want to send him to Richmond? Yeah. Get the bunts down. All right. And let's look at this one. Up. The double steal, D. Rowe. This was unbelievable. And pause this real quick for me. Because I want to give love to Jeff Brantley. He called this. I was watching this game, and he said, Ellie's going. I, I, they need to create some type of offense. He's going in this situation. Run it. And you know Bailey is throwing through because he's one of the best in the business. This is just perfectly executed. No one did anything wrong. Freeze. So the, what's set up in this one right here, because the dynamic would be, it makes it harder to do this if this guy was hitting from this batter's box. Yes. Because you have a little bit more out your peripheral. Yeah. But when you're buried in on this right-hand hitter, Peaky you're not bat. seeing it. And if there's no peaky, and you're the uh, Reds here, and you say, you know what, they're throwing through for sure, that's just an easy read right there. And as you said, nobody necessarily did anything wrong. Because he's coming in, he's getting to the bag, he's coming up. There, there's not a... Um, and the catchers, to be honest with you, back in the day, we used to do the whole, uh, go, you know, whatever the sign was, going to third, hold it, throwing through. I asked Real Muto and Will Smith during Team USA, hey, do we put these signs in? And they looked at me, both of them, and said, we're throwing through every time. And if we come up and see that guy on third creeping, we'll shut it down and go get him. They want, they want the ability. So he, in today's game, you could pretty much assume he's firing the second base. Okay, so everybody get first and third. Go ahead and steal Just two back and score. But play that through. Nobody comes up, pauses, and goes to third anymore. Oh, what a slide by Steer, too. Look Watch at this. this. Look. Got him. Ooh. It's pretty good. And then go on to win that game. Huge win by Cincinnati Reds. Tough 10-day road trip. Lost Matt McClain. And they go five and five, and they steal a run right there. All right. That. Robert, did you learn anything? Yeah. I did. I, uh, I, well, I got sent to Richmond for that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <He's> literally <Yeah. laughs> every single one of them. No, that, 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 that's such a great segment. And, uh, yeah, I, I learn something every, every time you guys do that.